Greetings and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I'm Catherine of Sky and uh, we have a tiny, tiny, tiny little problem. <laughs> a really, really bad problem. Um, <laughs> this could potentially be catastrophic considering this is on our stone line. Um, uh, yeah, and if we can't make this money back, then we, uh, we're going to have major, major issues. Let's see, what we can do is I can send these trains maybe to a waypoint or a signal possibly. Can I do that? Or maybe I'll just send them to Mark Foxton because these trains will not get into this station unless that one moves and that one can't go anywhere at the moment. All right, let's see if we can maybe, I don't know, duct tape this thing together. Okay, so after we go to the brickworks, let's add, can we just add like this, uh, this as a waypoint? Can you go there? How about there? Can, will you move if we do this? Otherwise we may just have to reload a save. Or I can just manually, there's a, we can just do this. We can make it go. Okay, let's try this and make these trains go and hopefully we can earn enough money to, uh, oh dear. Yep, the monthly maintenance is coming in. And these trains will pile up somewhere, but hopefully it's not gonna be that bad. We really need to get this stone delivered like crazy much. Okay, reverse gonna quickly reverse them as fast as we can there we go there we go we need, need to fix that one tiny little bit of rail <laughs> I may have to actually sell some of these trains oh man I'll probably have to sell the new train just to fix that one tiny thing because the rest of these go back yeah the rest of these are not negotiable as yep and then they're gonna block up the passenger line oh man okay so for future reference if that ever happens you should probably reload a save and i probably should do that because otherwise it's gonna muck up our details but i can just sell this train the one that should be waiting here where is the one that should be waiting there hello where are you, train? Let's see. Did I not put it? Oh, you know what? I probably put it for too short of a, uh, a waiting time. Yep. Okay. So we're going to uh, details. Let's see. How much do we get if we sell this train? Probably. I wish it told us how much we get. Does it say value? Oh, here it is. Here's the value. Two million. Yep. God, I hate doing that but we have to. We also need to change that a little bit. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get this going. Get this, this tiny little detail fixed. And hopefully we can get at least one train taking that fuel away. Where did that little spot go? I think it was here, there it is. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's take this uh, signal off the line. Okay, and let's see where we can get our trains to go. All right, haul at least 300 cargo items waiting at train station. Wow, okay, you are, wow, going the wrong way entirely. I hope this train will reverse. You know what, we're just gonna reverse it and just send it back because the other ones should, I believe, go to the correct station. All right, hopefully we can earn a little bit of money here. Um, we might not be earning money though, so I'm wondering if I should just buy that train anyway. Wow, where are you going? Okay. Uh, sure. Reverse. These trains are all going the wrong way. You're okay to go over there, but... I think we're gonna have a major problem with our brick line. Let me stop right now and get 
that new train built. <laughs> because otherwise we're gonna have major, major problems. All right, let's gonna see what we can buy for that. Um, it's the PV, class PV. Add here, and then we'll add our tank cars. We'll go, oh wow, two is too many. That's not ideal, is it? Nope, I think we're gonna have to wait on that train. And then let's, oh, 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 oh. Oh, we got money. Hi, money, how you doing? Oh, I know what train that was. That was the train that we didn't watch come into the station. Ha! Huh. Hi train, how you doing? Oh, you doing good, aren't you? Nice. Okay. So, what we're gonna do with this money is we're gonna buy a new train. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my god, that's a ton of money. This is great. Ha! Huh. Saved us. Saved us. I didn't think it was gonna be quite that much. That is a huge, huge chunk of change. How much was that exactly? Let's see, can we see? Oil? No? Yeah, you just made $1.4 million all on your own. Wow, that's nice. All right, let's buy a new vehicle. All right, we don't have to worry about anything right now at all, do we? Okay, let's buy one of these. We have this, and I think we said we wanted eight tank cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's buy that one. Wow. 2.7 million for that. Put you on the fuel line. Let's look at the fuel line. Um, there it is. Now this one, I want you to wait for on... Hmm, that's hard. I think we'll have it wait for as long as possible, 10 minutes. Let's have it wait for 10 minutes. The thing about trains is when they're waiting, they're collecting all the stuff that gets processed um, and they're also using less fuel because if they're running, they are using fuel and their maintenance cost is much higher. Let's go ahead and repay some of this money to get our debt down a little bit and see how this runs. Um, I'm really curious to see how much we're gonna get on here. Wow, just picked up what was available, apparently. Zero, wow, one. We got one. Ooh, a lot of this is gonna disappear, I believe. Let's pin this, because I wanna see how much is there. Where did the train go? Train, ooh, you're still over there. But, hey, hey, going 50 kilometers an hour, that's pretty darn tasty. Let's just watch this train charging down the line. Crazy good. All right, so we're gonna take one thing of fuel or regular oil down to the fuel factory. But that's okay, we're just gonna build this up slowly. It's gonna be fine. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, the other train is gonna cost us a mountain of money to maintain because it's not gonna have any cargo to take. We're just approaching Pep City. I'm wondering if this is maybe it's too early uh, to start this kind of like a massive line like this. It's a bit ambitious, I have to say. And look at our money. We are just tanking in the money department. Jeez. Dang. But the rest of our uh, areas are doing okay. Not too bad. We could do a little bit better with the ships, but I'm hoping that'll get a little bit up. This one, of course, is going to generate some more money as soon as it delivers more oil. Uh, we might have to have a bit of a kind of running the game period as well. Let's see what this does, though. I'm going to go back down there. I wish you could run the game faster than this even, just to get things fast. If, if I have one complaint about the game is it just seems like the time goes so slowly. So, so slowly. But that's okay. We're going to... It'll be fine. We're going to get there. All right, so we have dropped this off. The fuel refinery is going to process one barrel <laughs> to fuel and train. It's going to get probably one barrel. Let's see, consumption one, stored zero. Did it actually get the barrel? No? It's not there either. Maybe it's like, oh yeah, that's just priming the machinery. Oh, it does say production one. Wait a second. Who are you? Oh my god, this is our stone train. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh jeez. 
Oh, can we tell it to go to the next station? Gee, okay, there it goes. We'll just let it go and let these, these stone trains go back. Go back from whence they came. Gee. Where did our other little train go? There it is. It stopped here. So we'll watch this one go again. This is a bit hairy, I think, because I think that our other... Our other trains are not going to be making a lot of money. I'm wondering if I should reload the save, actually, because that was a big, big disaster that I wasted a huge amount of money on. Yeah, look at the stone line. Minus one million dollars right now. Oh, that is just completely, completely crazy. How are the other trains doing? Are they on the right line again? Yeah, they are. There's one. Okay, so we do have one there. I was like, why is this like losing so much darn money? There we go. Yep, here's the next one. Could use some more signals perhaps on this line. It's, oh wow, this is a big stretch with no signal. Oh, we can't put signals either because no money for signals. Somebody had an interesting suggestion of um, uh, having us take the stone here to Laffy Taffyville and then taking it to this station via the horse carts. And I thought that was a very entertaining suggestion, even if it's not quite, um, well, I don't know if it's that useful or not, but um, it, we could get some extra money because the thing about this is it's very point to point in terms of deliveries. And that's one thing that could smooth out the money on this line as well, is to get this train. Where did it go? Train, where are you? There you are. Instead of having one train, we could have multiple trains and um, taking, I don't know, a few wagons at a time and we wouldn't need you know, to have huge long trains either. Because at the moment, we are not actually using uh, the full, I don't know, purchasing power of this train because we're using, let's see, I think we would have seven cars normally. I think we have only 16. We were supposed to have at least 21 to make up for the price on this one. But we did get a good chunk of change on that last uh, sale there. Let's see, finances, yep. Very nice. Income 2.16 million on that run. So that was really great. Did, how, what did we get from this? 56. That's quite good. 56 oil. Um, and so the next train has how much? Let's find out what the capacity of the other train is. Let's see. Ah, here it comes. So this is perfect. It's going to be waiting here the whole time. Oh, it can hold 56. Now, isn't that convenient? I think that is extremely convenient. All right, so this is going to wait for the next train to come down. It's going to wait indefinitely until the until it's full. So this is perfect for this situation here. Oh, this is great. This is really, really good. Quite happy about that. Come on, let's go. Keep coming, train. How are the other lines doing? Okay, okay. The stone line is starting to gain a little bit of money here. That's good. We have... Uh, we have scary times ahead. I hope the bank doesn't call in the next few minutes. That's going to be really bad. But I want to make sure we can get out of this financial disaster here. But we, we did it for the save, right? I don't know. I don't believe in the whole save scumming thing. It would have been fine to reload from my point of view. Um, but this is also a good um, example of crisis management. So I hope you'll take it in that uh, in that vein. But in any case, we're going to have this making some money. Finally, I'm really happy about this because this is losing this much money so far. And hopefully we're going to get more stuff. Yay. So train eight loading right now. Deposited all this fun stuff. And so this is this takes time to process all the goods here into fuel. And we can see we're storing 45 and consuming this much. Um, so yeah, pretty exciting. I'm really excited to see this deliver this fuel into Mark Foxton because that's going to help that city grow immensely, I think. 
but look, the debt is going down. Debt is definitely going down. I'm very happy about that. Look at that. Nice. Okay. We're just waiting for this to process. And meanwhile, the next train is going up there again. So ideally, I'd like to have two of these trains on the line and then have one or maybe two smaller trains here. That could be another thing that we could do. Um, but I do think that we might want to add more cars to this. Uh, and the reason we took them off, if you remember, was because the train was just so dang expensive. Um, we do need a certain number of cars. I really wish it showed that, or maybe it does show that and I missed it or something. Let's see. If we go to the depot and we just say random locomotive, sure, and then add a billion boxcars. It doesn't show us anywhere here, does it? 189 capacity. I guess we could just say, okay, capacity divided by seven equals cars. I guess that's the way to do that, maybe. But I wish it said how many cars of each type or something. That would be really helpful. Okay, how are you doing, train? You have 49. Why is it not all on the platform? Ooh. Shoot. You know what? I'm gonna, just going to tell it to go. For some reason, it did not get all 56, and I don't know why. That's really strange to me. Because, yeah, production, 56. <gasps> Maybe Mark Foxen does not demand that many. Oh, right. Okay, so what we need to do in Mark Foxton is... We need to feed all these industrial buildings. I forgot that we didn't have any trucks going out here. Oh, look what we can do. Oh my God. We could build a truck stop. We need to build a truck stop. In fact, let's build ourselves a truck stop. We have actual money. Ha, oh, this is great. Oh, we also have some more money. We have some here in the bank. So I want to do that and that, oh, that's the reason it didn't pick them up. Uh, so this is one of the things I find a little bit confusing in the game is that it only picks up as much as is currently demanded. I really wish what it would do is just drop it all off and then I'll deal with it from there and they can have it stacked up for a while. But that's not the way the game works. And I see it to me, it feels a little bit odd, I guess. Um, so you kind of have to think backward in a way. But so I would I would have preferred to say, OK, drop that all off here, sell what you can and leave the rest on the platform and I'll build stuff after I get the money for when it arrives here. So that would be my logic for that. But th that's not the way the game works. So we are going to play the game the way it wants to work. And I think that'll be helpful. <laughs> so we're going to just start that way. OK, so bread goes up there and then we have Wow, um, this is where we need the fuel, is in the industrial section. So we'll go ahead and turn this lovely little truck station around and save ourselves quite a bit of money by not bulldozing anything for a change. Okay, very good. Okay, um, and I am now, so where does that cover? Not much. We need to get all of these industrial buildings out there. I think one of the things I want to do is change the roads a little bit. Let's see if we can do something like this. Yes. And I would like to do something like this. 416. We do have another half mil in the bank. Perfect. And then we'll get this if that's not too expensive. That's sort of straight, kind of straight. Let's get, um, let's get some stops out here as well. So cargo buildings. There we go. Truck unload stops. So this is what is currently covered by this. We need to, let's go for fuel first. Put one here on both sides of the road here. Put one... Hello? Thingy? Why? 
Why you not work? Maybe these roads aren't big enough? No. Something else is... I don't know what's going on with this. Alright, our first one is there. I would really like it here, but it's not cooperating for some reason. Maybe because there's a bus line there? I don't know. I do not know. Let's put this one here. And then have one kind of in the middle here. So if we look at this, we're going to go from here all the way this way up here and then maybe actually what i'd rather do is do something like this and then one here instead of that one there so let's delete these ones and they can just kind of hop over and get it i don't know how much they care where it is this that way. I really do not want to connect to this road here. I want this to stay preserved as it is, so hopefully they will not go that way. I feel like putting a train track or something like, do not build this way! We're not allowing it. Okay, so here's our truck stop. I think that's fine. We can go out this way and go around. Yeah, okay, I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and just set up a new line here. So from this truck stop to, no, that is not a truck stop. That is definitely not a truck stop. Let's go from this truck stop. How about that for huh, accuracy there? Okay, here, there, boom. And that will also keep these emissions out of this area. I mean, these houses are gonna get some of them, but um, yeah, it's actually going perfectly up this way as well. So it keeps it out of most of that area. I think that's good. I think that's just fine. So I'm going to say we're going to call this, let's see, road cargo mark um, fuel. Yep. Good. Now let's buy some vehicles. Buy vehicles. Ooh, horse-drawn carriage. Side stakes is not going to work for this, I think. Mm-hmm. Let's buy four of these. Sure. <gasps> no, I didn't want 41 of them. Thank you. Um, oh, geez. One, two, three, four. Sell, please. Yes. One, two, three, four. Okay, sell the last one. Yes. Okay, good. I hate when that happens. I, I've done that several times, and it's really not ideal. Anyway, let's select all, and then... Put these on road cargo mark fuel there we go okay all right we spent way too much money on this process but it will be fine so now now that we have that here i bet we have um we have stuff on on here no do we have stuff in here no where did it go huh okay I don't know, but hopefully we're going to get that fuel out here. Let's find our train. There it is. Yay. This is pretty exciting. I'm really curious to see how much uh, we're going to get for this. Ooh. 55 kilometers an hour and the Putilov. I wonder if that's a passenger car. I don't know what that is. Or maybe it's a... couldn't be a locomotive. Could it? Oh, let's look. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Cargo station. I love how it switches tracks. That is so good. Okay, we earned money. We earned half a million, 543,000. That's not too bad. It's, it's not as much as I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's okay. It's something. So we're getting some money. Hooray. How many passengers do we have here? 33. Okay, the train is coming in. So that's pretty much exactly as many as we need. So let's look at our train shed here and figure out what those two new things are. The Putilov is passenger car. Okay, 14 passengers at 109,000 per year. 
and it goes faster than the other car. This one goes, uh, does it say 60 kilometers? This is 80. So we don't have any trains going that fast carrying passengers at the moment. It is very expensive to run for not that many, not that many more passengers. Oh, one of the last to be built with six, three axles. It was used for different classes and was accordingly painted differently. That's nice. Oh, look, we have money. Yay. Oh, this is exciting. I think let's go and repay, repay as we go along. We really, what we should do though with this line is probably get more of these trains on the line. I think I have too many signals on this line as well. You could see like all these little signals lighting up with funds. Hey, fun. Funds are fun. Yes. Oh, look at them. Oh, tasty money coming from that train. Tell you what, is this making more stuff? What do we got going on here? What does this train say? What I could do is have it wait a certain amount of time. No, this is probably going to fill up. Let's see, 28. And 18 is several, <laughs> 38 and 46 or something. I probably should just let it go. Stored nine, eight. And it's not going to fill up. I'm wondering, I think what I should do on this one is just send it after a certain number of minutes. Because by the time the next one gets back, it's going to waste part of the production on this trip going from there to there. Jeez. I wonder if I should have just gone around this way, around the mountain instead. I think it's shorter. Oh, well, I was thinking about uh, Pep City up there. Yep, 45 of 49. Let's just have it go. Oopsies, go. There you go. There you go, little train. Get you going. This train, yeah, still has not gotten to the end point here and 52 are waiting. I wonder if we tell this one to wait for a certain amount of time. How much does it have? 52. Let's see. How long does it wait? Maximum waiting time, five minutes. We should have it wait for five instead of three minutes. Oh, you know why? It's because load if available. Hmm. That's why it's not waiting. That's not ideal because I don't want it to wait for half. I just want it to wait for X amount, like whatever's there and then wait for three minutes. Game, you need to give me options for this, please. <laughs> Ah, it's okay though. So we did get actually half, which is nice. I would like it to be more than half so that this little train, you know what the other thing we could do with is though, we could replace, we could send the other train to the depot. You know what, maybe we'll do that. We'll send the other train to the depot and have it give it less cars so that it's not waiting for too long. This train, yeah, you or give the other train more cars. You know what? That's a really good idea, actually. Um, the only thing is, if I send that train, if I send this train to the depot and give it more cars, the thing is that it's going to interrupt the schedule quite a bit. How many cars does it have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Has sixteen cars. If we borrow our money again and then replace it with, I don't know, say twenty-one cars or something. Let's just try that. All right. Um, go to the vehicle manager. And we want to take out this one. So it has 16. Let's replace you with... Oh yes, yeah, so and we're supposed to look at this one as well. 320 per year. 
Ah, yes, this is one of the very expensive ones. We really need better tank cars, because I feel like it's way too long without the same amount of uh, holding as bigger, bigger vehicles would be. Okay, let's get this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. That's more than three times of the other engine. Okay, replace for yeah, you know what? Let's go with this. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-four cars. Is it still holding anything? Yes, 56 fuel. Good. So you go ahead and go on your merry way, and we're just going to watch you in your glory. How about that? Look at this. Oh, that's so good. Still maintaining 50 kilometers an hour. That is pretty darn impressive. I think the top speed is 64 or something like this. That is, that is not a train that's going to stop on a dime, that's for sure. Dang. That's crazy good, though. Really excited about this train. So we're going to drop off the 56 fuel, and this train is now going to leave sooner because it's going to fill up with more than 56. Because the 56 is the exact amount, and I think what's happening is that we're losing some off the platform. So if you don't mind the platform, stuff starts to disappear uh, after a while. Where's our other train? Is it coming back? There it comes. Okay, so we may not actually lose any from this train, which would be a really good sign. So let's see, watch that one come in. Oh, this is so fun, just like watching the things happen and stuff going on. It has 13, 14. Let's see, 41, 40, okay. And we may get all of it actually this time, we'll see. There it is, waiting on the platform. Pretty cool. That's fun. So it's 24. This is so good. Look at how long that train is. Ooh, that's going to be a payday. Look at that. 168 units of crude oil. Man, is that tasty or what? Is this done yet? Not yet. Keep on going. Go, 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 go. And then this train can get bigger. How much are we delivering from to Mark Foxton? Like, are we at the limit? No. No, no, we're nowhere near the limit. We can keep on delivering to our heart's content, I see. This is excellent. Of course, the emissions are not good. They're quite unhappy about that. But we're starting to deliver a lot of the goods that they're asking for. So they're like, OK, let's get more people in here. And I agree. I think that's a very good plan. This is so exciting to see these gigantic, gigantic long haul trains like careening around the map. Check that out. Oh, so tasty nice. Look at this. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, my grandfather used to drive freight trains. Those were his favorite. He could drive all the kinds of trains. Uh, steam locomotives, diesel engines, electric, uh, passengers, cargo. He trained for all of those uh, types of trains. So he could work anywhere, but his favorite were the freight trains and he loved switching them around in the switching yards because he was just really good at it. So this reminds me of him. I mean, I never knew him. I, all I have are the stories, but hey, it's pretty darn cool. Yep, there we are. 117,000 profit, but soon. I want to see how much money this train makes when it pulls into that station. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, if you notice this little thing go red, you get extra points. <laughs> for the last episode. I don't know how many people noticed that. Does this fit on this platform? Yes, of course it does. Of course it does, and we can fit more. Oh, 3.3 million dollars for this train. All right, we get 56 back. Next time we'll get even more back uh, because we just delivered a whole bunch of, but man, do we have money now. So we can probably, I don't know, how much is this train worth right now? Five million and, and falling, of course, of course it's falling. But uh, we have already the seed money. Well, let's let's just repay our loan for now and keep on getting these huge chunks of money chunking into our bank account and we don't mind one bit. 
I'll tell you, this is pretty darn exciting. All right, so I think next episode, I wanna focus on, mm, on the ship route. I would really like to buy more locomotives for this, but this is giving me enough excitement that I think we can do the ship thing and probably pay for some dredging here. Uh, I have to say I was inspired by Sky Storm's uh, dredging of his canal in his series, which was very, very beautifully done. Um, his first canal that he built, and I, I thought that was really cool. So we might do this for Fort Kyle to get access here, uh, or alternatively, maybe go through here or cut off this side of this island. I don't know. I don't want to cut too many things willy nilly, but this seems like it might be uh, an ideal candidate for some dredging here. What about the rest of the area around this? Yeah, yeah, look at this. We would just have to remove very little land. And even though it's extremely expensive, I think we could make it work. And uh, as we've seen, the brick production has been pretty darn good. Let's look at that line over here. Let's see, yeah, the brick ships, 204,000, pretty decent. So it would be fun to have a water-based um, kind of end production chain. Logs to lumber to tools to city. Uh, that might be really fun. So that's one, two, uh, and three connections there just with ships. And that might be fun thing to balance and make sure that they're all kind of flowing nicely and nobody's getting left behind with you know, stuff sitting on the docks for too long and then people wondering why their Christmas presents have gone missing and the tools are, yeah, tools left sitting on the docks. Sad sight indeed. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.